Warm greetings to you today. Today we'll be exploring the meaning of assessment in a natural science class. We're visiting Mrs. Mape, a science teacher at Ikakli Primary School in Alexandra, who's invited us to share her understanding of assessment and how it should be conducted in a natural science class. Assessment provides learners with feedback on how well they're doing. In South Africa, we use learner outcomes and assessment standards to guide us on what to assess and how to assess it. But how does that apply to a natural science class? Sit in pause. Sit in pause. Sit in pause. Only. Sit in pause. Bridget in pause. There's the space. Thank you. Assessment in natural science follows the nationally adopted assessment practices in line with the outcomes-based principles, meaning assessment should be continuous and planned. Assessment measures the learner's performance against the assessment standards. These assessments are found in a lesson as lesson outcomes that the learners must achieve. Let's have a look at how the natural science teacher does an assessment in a natural science lesson while a scientific investigation is being conducted. The teacher will be facilitating the learners while they conduct a scientific investigation. She will also be assessing them continuously as they go through the various stages. There are different kinds of properties of materials in front of you. So we are going to sort these materials according to their properties. Firstly, we are going to look at these materials, properties of materials. Look at them first. Look at them, view. What do you see in front of you? Nomsa? I see a wool. Show us. Here is the wool. Is it the only wool in front of you that you see? Oh. Where is the other wool? Where is it? Look, look at your, at your things in front of you. Is it the wool? Okay, thank you, Nomsa. Wool. And uh, Nozipo, what else can you tell me that you see in front of you? Show us. Yes, is it the only glass? Good. And tell us the property of that material. It's made of glass. Yes, it's made up of glass. Good. And then Zeno? Plastic. Yes, it's made up of plastic. Yes. What else can you tell us about uh, the materials in front of you, uh, Stembile? The teacher has just conducted baseline assessment of prior learning. Baseline assessment usually takes place at the beginning of a lesson or grade to establish what learners already know. Yes. It assists right. teachers to plan and conduct learning activities yes. accordingly. Still. Assessment may be conducted for various purposes. Other than checking what learners already know or do not know, the teacher may conduct assessment to check progress of learners during a lesson. We call this formative assessment. The teacher may also assess learners at the end of a section of work or period of time to develop an overall picture of their performance. This we call summative assessment. Sometimes learners might experience barriers to learning, so a diagnostic assessment may be conducted with the help of an external expert. Interesting. Let's see how the teacher builds from this. Let's go back into the classroom and see how the investigation of properties of materials is going. Class, I'm going to ask you first to group these materials. Plastic ones alone, wood ones alone. Can you do that? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Group them. It is shining. You never, you never, you never break it. It's hard. 
I can see through it. It and it's shining. Perlos, can you tell us something about your, what you have at your hand? This is a spoon. It is the plastic. I can break it. Stembile, tell us about the property of this material you have at your hand. This toilet roll, it is soft. As the teacher moves around the class, she can help the learners clarify their thinking and practice their skills. She can also use the table the children are filling in to assess their work. And she can use the observations of the children at work to assess their social skills. Plastic substances and the wool ones. This. They're after. Okay. Now. Yes. Okay, go. Cool. I'm not Nomsa, what do you have in your list? I have Caesar pla stapler plate. All right, children, listen. We are going to tell me now uh, the properties of these materials in front of you. If you look at the chalkboard, ne? do you see those words, shiny? Can you, can you read them? Yes. Read them, please. Shiny. Yes. You know the meaning, ne? Yes. Then you see these ones. Yes. These properties, ne? Yes. This, at this side, on this side, you will write shiny, breakable, soft, hard, bent, transparent, flexible, cold, ne? Yes. This side. So I'm going to do that. If you have something you don't understand, just ask me. Learners know beforehand what is expected of them, but each time they do it, the standard is raised or an additional challenge is added. All right, children, let's leave everything and then listen to me. Class, we're going to link the properties of materials. Ne? Yes. Wood goes with what? Yes? Good. Wood is hard. Yes. Right, wool. Zeno. Soft, good. Wool is? Soft. Wool is? Soft. And then glass? Hard. Hard. Glass is? Hard. Also, you can say so. Glass is hard or? Transparent. Yes. So glass is? Transparent. Very good. Then plastic? With flexible. Flexible. Good. Steel? Cold. Yes, you can say so. Steel is? Cold. Lenas, I'm going to write some questions on the chalkboard. Then you are going to answer them in your, in your paper. Write maybe in the middle of your paper. Ne? Here are the questions you are going to answer for me. Ne? Read them in English. Why did you your investigation? Uh, number two. What did you do in your investigation? Number three. What is your final conclusion? Conclusion. Yes. Right. Okay.
number two much it is soft and too much over eat so number three which would win guys I'm going to collect your papers and I'm going to assess them What did you hope to achieve through this assessment? I wanted to see the learners, whether they have got the ability to link the properties with, with the materials. I wanted also to see uh, the learners to, to make conclusions about the properties of materials. This was an enjoyable experience. We saw the learners conduct a scientific investigation highlighting assessment practices. I hope you enjoyed this lesson with us and I hope you join us again next time.